Here we go. The Ooh. tables, ladders, and chairs are ready. And so are we. Call the cops, Cole, because I have a feeling this fatal four-way is going to steal the show. Slam. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. In a precarious position here. Yeah, I don't like where this is heading, Michael. show of strength right here. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Technique. This might be it. Oh my. You gotta believe this one's over. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. When she gets in attack oh. mode, look out. Incredible! Maria Canella is connected with a match-ending move! Oh, it's over! She might have it. Samoan drop! It's heating up now! That's one of those moves where you check your extremities upon impact. Mike, well, that gives new meaning to have a seat. The Fatal 4-Way match works like this. Four superstars are in the ring all at once. There are no countouts and no disqualifications. You have four superstars who are throwing down in the ring all at the same time, and they can fight anywhere they want to. It's mass hysteria. Are you thinking about some assault on the lower back? Guys, let's go to the replay. Yeah, I definitely need to see that again. Okay. She wants to do this in the ring. Corey, you spoke about the TLC match. It is interesting to note that the TLC match was created because of the incredible triangle ladder match the Dudley Boys had against the Hardys and Edge and Christian for the WWE Tag Team titles at WrestleMania 2000. And that was just the beginning. You got that right, Michael. There was incredible history between those three teams. Each door put it all on the line so they could be WWE Tag Team Champions. Even though the wild matches between them had TLC elements in them, the first official TLC match sanctioned by WWE took place at SummerSlam 2000. Let's make sure everyone's clear on the rules of a TLC match. There are no pinfalls, no countouts, no disqualifications, and no submissions. The only way to win is to climb the ladder and retrieve the championship or championships that are suspended high above. Here we go. Suplex. Bliss is out of it, guys. Let me tell you, the human body was not meant to be slammed like that. Oh, man, what a strike! The challenger looking absolutely exhausted in there. She may not be able to go on much longer here in this fatal four-way match. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Here we go. Here she goes. Check this out. 
And now, look at her here. No, oh. don't you dare. Oh, this can't gosh. happen. This is it. Oh, my God. She can't walk after that attack to the back. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Things do not look good for Alexa Bliss. Strong impact from Maria Canellis. The champ's starting to stumble a bit. She's just looking to walk away with a win here. This is either a blip on the radar or the beginning of the end for her, guys. But if you ask me, I wouldn't bet against her. Not tonight, not here, not now. It should be noted, though, guys, that her opponent is... There you have it. Your fatal four-way winner. Now let's take another look at one of the best fatal four-way matches we've seen in a long, long while. I just love it when the women put on a show like that one. You can see right here the moments that made this match a great one. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. Here is your winner and still Divas Champion, Jeannie Crush Corino. Looking dominant at times in the victory. It could have gone so many different ways, but in the end, only one of these competitors had what it truly takes to be the alpha. And I'd say that match certainly lived up to SummerSlam's historic and prestigious past.